It's time now for the latest in local news and the news. Early voting taking place all this week at the Hall Richardson Recreation Center. The time from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Election day a week from today, Tuesday, June 21st. On Monday, 39 people voted, 25 Republicans, 14 Democrats. Only one race on the Republican ballot this week. That's the runoff in District 1 in the county commissioner's seat between Mike Gordon and Brian Griffiths. On Monday, Brian Griffiths joined us on the Bitch and Bomb Show. Today, Mike Gordon will be in studio. This race will be decided a week from tonight when polls close next Tuesday at 7 p.m. On the Democratic ballot, several contested races, one federal contested race. Once again, early voting all this week, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Hall Richardson Recreation Center. Again, the center located at 644 North 4th Street in Jessup. City of Jessup has a call meeting this morning at 9 a.m. for the purpose of a public hearing on their proposed budget. After the public hearing, they plan to have the first reading of the budget. That's also on the agenda. And they hope to have the budget approved at their next scheduled meeting in June. They hope to have the budget approved before July 1st. The budget includes a $9.2 million grant that the city received for improvements in the city's infrastructure. Also includes $1.8 million for new fire station at Pine Street. The budget includes a $750,000 CDBG grant to improve drainage at Pine Bloom Drive and Pine Bloom Circle. City Engineer Bill Schumann reported at a prior meeting that work on that project should begin shortly. $2.3 million is in the budget for Crack Williams Park. They're still hoping to build a pool at the park, but again, they've sent out bid requests three times and still no one's bid on the project. The city hopes to work out a contract that allows for a sliding cost due to increase in material costs. City Attorney Michael Connor says he works with all these type of contracts at this time due to no one willing to give a set price on contracts due to the increasing cost of materials. The city hoping to use that approach in hopes of getting someone interested in helping build a pool at Crack Williams Park. Once again, they called me this morning at 9 a.m. at City Hall. City of, I'm sorry, the Wayne County Board of Education set to meet tonight at 6 p.m. in a work session. They've got several items on their agenda, a weather safety discussion with the Emergency Management Agency, COVID update, an update on the capital outlay projects. They'll discuss summer travel, Wayne County Family Connections contracts on the agenda, also the official school calendars on the agenda, discussion of facilities, approval of the handbooks, several board policies, Executive session to discuss personnel all that tonight at 6 p.m. with a full report for tomorrow here on the local news. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Community wide blood drive set for tomorrow at Wayne Memorial Hospital. Again, the time will be from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. All donors receive a $20 gift card from the blood connection. Jill Blizzard with the hospital will be our special guest tomorrow. Talk about the importance of the blood drive. Again, if you need to make an appointment to donate blood, they ask you to log on to bloodconnection.org or call 864-751-1154. Also, community-wide blood drive set for Monday, June 20th, 1 to 6 p.m. at Calvary Baptist Church Gymnasium. Again, this is sponsored by the Jesuit Shriners Ladies Auxiliary. To make an appointment for that blood drive, visit redcrossblood.org. Enter Jessup to schedule an appointment. Again, the blood drive set for Monday, June 20th, from 1 to 6 p.m. Chamber of Commerce gearing up for their legacy dinner. It's going to take place at Coastal Pine Signal College on Thursday, June 23rd. Tickets are available for at the chamber, $75 each. Call the chamber at 427-2028. Chamber also taking application for their 2022-2023 class of Leadership Wayne. Leadership Wayne helps identify, recognize, and develop future and current leaders of Wayne County. The 11-month program allows each individual to learn more about the community. Again, the application window is now through June 30th. Again, contact the chamber for more information, the number 427-2028. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages. So please stay tuned. A couple of final notes in the news. Again, a reminder of the Wayne County Summer Feeding Program all this summer, May 31st through July 28th, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 1030 to 1130 at Wayne County High School, Martha Rolf Smith Elementary, Joseph Elementary, and Odom Elementary. Again, general information available for children 0 to 18 years of age and people with special needs. Free of charge, meals for multiple days provided in each bag. Breakfast and lunch will be provided in each bag and pickups of drive through service. No on-site eating. Again, that's taking place today Again, each Tuesday and Thursday throughout the summer. And finally, a news reminder, we're under a heat advisory as temperatures will climb to the lower 90s by lunchtime and afternoon highs will hit low to mid-90s, but temperatures feel like 105 to 110 degrees. There's a slight chance of a few isolated showers and storms during the afternoon into the early evening, but if you're outdoors, they ask you please drink plenty of fluids. They say this trend will expect to be with us all this week. And that's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, have a great day.